Well, the chaos in Washington yesterday might be taking a toll on our children. Children here in our area watched as our nation's capital saw civil unrest. CBS 12's Lena Salzbank spoke with a therapist about this difficult topic. She joins us live tonight. Lena. Yes, well, they say 2020 was already a stressful year, a year to concentrate on mental health and our well-being. So it's only natural that parents might want to hide what happened at the nation's capital from their children. However, mental health experts say that that shouldn't be the case. It's important to speak about it and not ignore it. The goal here is to teach our children through modeling how to manage a crisis or the negative feelings. Professionals say it's less about finding a solution and more about giving your young kids a voice. Allowing yourself to lead the conversation with hope, meaning that you know we can write a letter to our congressman or um, spread positivity today, like however we want to like regain that sense of control. And as the mob of violence continue to play out on the news Wednesday, parents may want to keep the news from their kids, but mental health professionals say don't. Ultimately, it's listening to what the kid, the child is saying to you and then determining what they can and can't handle. A former Jupiter teacher now working as a mental health intern says it's best to be straightforward and honest. I've been a lower school elementary teacher for the last 10 years and you know a lot of things have happened in our country over that time so when speaking to kids it's really important to just kind of take their lead jennifer tomko a psychotherapist in palm beach county tells cbs 12 news that when speaking to kids it's always important to remind them that they are safe children might perceive threats as being nearby and though the capital is miles away in dc kids recognize that our president donald trump has deep roots here in south florida south florida has you know, a connection to Trump because he, you know, our president has a residence here and it's, um, you know, it hits closer to home this time around. Parents should also look out for crisis mode in their kids, which is flight, fight or freeze. So if they see any changes in the behavior of their children, they should reach out to mental health experts for help in Palm Beach County. Lena Salzbank, CBS 12 News.